you guys, what is up? I am no longer, <laughs> I look so weird in the viewfinder. You girl is no longer a redhead. I dyed my hair back this afternoon. It feels so weird, like seeing myself in the camera now since I've had, I had that red hair maybe for like only six weeks. Some of y'all probably don't even care or probably didn't even notice the difference, but I did dye my hair a, like a little fiery red. You know, she wanted to be a little spicy for springtime. I knew it was gonna be temporary though because my hair, I have extensions in right now, so my normal hair is very short and it's very thin and I noticed that the red color made it really brittle. But I was like pulling you guys and chatting with a bunch of you last night on Snapchat, letting you know I wanted to dye my hair back and I wanted suggestions. I kind of wanted to do like balayage, um, but I'm in a state right now of really trying to get my hair super, super healthy before I dye it anymore, just because it is really um, frail and thin. So I just decided to go back to my normal dark brown, my roots. It's pretty dark right now because the first time I do the brown, it usually ends up like, like two shades darker than I want it and it will slowly fade out during summer. But this is the color that I love. I'm wearing my Bellamy, um, I believe these are the Bugatti extensions. You guys always ask what brand I wear. Um, I ordered Irresistible Me for a few weeks ago when my hair was red. So the red ones I had were from Irresistible and they were actually super good quality, but the Bellamy I've been wearing for probably like over two years. And I really love these ones as well if you guys are in the market for any hair extensions. So if you're wondering like where I am right now, same beauty room, but it's literally under construction. That's why I'm like sitting on the floor right now. I feel I feel like this is like a more casual like vlog vibe though when I'm sitting on the floor. Um, stay tuned and make sure you're actually subscribed and have hit the notification bell here to my channel because I'm doing a whole revamp of this room. Christian and I are gonna be in this condo for a few more months before we uh, purchase a home. We're hoping to have a new home by the new year. Um, so while I'm still in this house, I wanna make sure every room you know, it's decorated nice, like I'm feeling good, I have good energy and good vibes to film for you guys. And I kind of just got tired of the setup I have in the beauty room, so once, I'm gonna give you guys a, a little tour here once I finish like rearranging all of my furniture and stuff like that, so stay tuned. But yeah, anywho, thank you for just tuning in for another video today. It's just gonna be like really casual and I chat with you guys about a few things. Um, I wanted to address my last video. I have a huge haul here of some of my favorite snacks. A bunch of them are cookies and Christian and I have already like opened up a few and like ate a few you know he's so cute I also got him some of his favorite like organic cheese puffs in here and this box came yesterday and he already ripped them open and started eating because he's so cute he didn't know that I was gonna include it in the video so the bag is like half empty but um yeah I just want to share a few things with you guys kind of like little updates I know the title says big news so there's two announcements I have one what is today I think I'm gonna get this video up Thursday so I have an announcement coming either Saturday or Sunday morning which is huge which changes my whole life and Christian's whole life which is very exciting so please please stay tuned I would tell you today if I could just with I'm make, gonna make sure everything is finalized before I tell you guys so make sure you're subscribed um, but the other announcement for today that I wanted to share with you guys which I think is big which like to me is any Anything that I expand on in my business or that I any accomplishments or just anything that I start doing like I feel like it's a big accomplishment so I want to share it with you guys I've been talking forever about starting my own podcast and I have officially put everything into the works for my own podcast it's gonna be a little bit about business and personal growth and personal development overall just gonna be a whole entire female empowerment podcast I already have 12 ladies who have agreed to be on the podcast and have me interview them and tell you guys like their life story and what they've learned in their business and with body image and personal development and everything like that um, I've already recorded two intro episodes I have the equipment it's like an official done deal this is not me saying like oh maybe maybe I'm gonna start a podcast this year no I've been uh, actually talked to some of you guys about it already on snapchat but it is officially 100% happening I'm very very excited so I am actually looking for a graphic designer I can leave my information below if any of you are interested or qualified um, to make an official logo for me and I have not decided on an official podcast name um, I absolutely love Sophia's podcast girl boss radio and that's obviously trademarked and it's super successful so I don't want to do anything exactly like that but I do want the podcast to bounce off of everything I talk about in my boss babe series so it's kind of got the whole like girl boss boss babe theme but I know the whole like girl boss phrase is very played out as well so I want something a little bit more unique I have a few ideas but I haven't like completely set a name yet uh, but be sure you are following me on snapchat and instagram i will let you guys know when the first episodes are going to go live and everything like that it's been so fun for me to start creating it i would say i've been working on it probably the past like three almost three months now 
Um, and I haven't had any interview experience before, but obviously I've done collaborations on YouTube and I feel super confident on camera and with audio. And we know I like to ramble, so podcasts are perfect. I'm always listening to them myself when I drive to and from LA, which is a two and a half hour drive each way. So I have just fallen in love with podcasts and the educational information and like the brain gains that I've got out of podcasts are amazing. And I wanted to create something to just enhance other women's lives. So I am like so, so, so incredibly excited for that. If you are all about that podcast game, I hope you're excited. I hope you will absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting to share that in a video for a while, but you know, I we all know I'm multi-passionate and I always say there's things that I wanna do and just there's not enough time in the day to complete everything, but this is something that is now finalized. So I like it's million percent happening. So I feel okay talking to you guys about it. So I hope you're excited. I am all up in the podcasting world. Like I just love it. I can leave some recommendations down below of the, my favorite ones that I currently listen to. If you are, if you're always in the car or on the go and you need more to listen to, I can leave those down there for you guys. All right, so next I'm gonna share with you guys everything I got in my Thrive order last night. I posted this on my Insta story and I was like, do you guys even care? Like, because I order groceries from them so often and I'm always showing my stuff. Uh, but you guys were like, yeah, we wanna see what's in there. So these are my favorite snacks that I take on the go. I got the package last night. I always love the inside of their boxes, it's really cool. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that probably for the past like two years, they've sent me multiple care packages, but it's truly the place and the online resource that I actually use now. Like I, I'm a paying customer and I have the membership for the year where I get all of my groceries, they've got specialty items, they're able to completely cut out the middleman and give you guys the absolute cheapest like manufacturer cost on everything. And they're known to have tons of specialty items which are like vegan, gluten free, stuff like that. So you pay your membership for the year and then you're able to purchase everything at the lowest cost possible. So Christian and I, I want to say we make like two orders every single month. Um, so this is just the stuff that I picked up for my most recent order. I think one of the people on the PR team threw in a few extra goodies because I don't remember ordering like all this, but super sweet of them. All right, so let me show you guys what I got. They do always give me a discount for you. I will have it linked down below. You will get a free month membership as well as 25% off your entire order on top of their prices, which are already super low. So please take advantage of that. I'm really grateful if you do use the link down below. It just lets the company know that I'm helping drive business to a company I really believe in. So what I got, I actually ordered three bags of these kale chips. These are amazing. So these ones here are not fried. They're air crisped under low heat, which maintains their natural enzymes and maximizes the raw nutritional value. So I used to get these at Albertsons, but they were eight bucks. I literally, I was like $8 for kale chips. No ma'am, I think they're like $4.99 on Thrive, plus you'll get that 25% off. Um, I got these little guys for Christian in the car. Not the healthiest, but a small portion of these should be totally fine, just like driving in the car for a little snack. I also wanted to pick up some soft baked cookies and Simple Mills. Again, I've seen these other places, but they're definitely a lot more expensive. So I kinda just wanted to stock up, and throw these in the pantry, maybe just take a serving or two on the go for summer when I'm like out and about with Christian. Also got my favorite Boom Chicka Pop, of course. This stuff is amazing. This one here is just the sea salt popcorn flavor. I've been buying this for like years. And this is the one I was telling you guys that Christian busted into. There's literally almost none left. These are amazing. Okay, I'll admit these are not healthy at all, but they're so, so, so good. When we first got this package, Christian ripped these open because he didn't know that I had to like show you guys, or I wanted to show you guys these on camera. So he just started eating them. There's like this much left. They're so, so, so good though. They're original gluten-free cheese puffs. I won't lie though, these are not very healthy, but they're so, so, so good. They also come in a white cheddar flavor on the Thrive site. Check those out if you're into like white cheddar. This I am pumped for, it was a new find. I've never tried it, but it's the paleo gluten-free vegetarian and grain-free snack mix. Chipotle barbecue flavor. Oh my gosh, this looks so, so, so good. So I got that, two more bags of my favorite kale chips. I'm telling you, like I have so many of those. Um, fudge mint cookies, little man picked these out. Those actually look bomb. And then one more, we got the Tate's Bake Shop, uniquely crispy, deeply delicious cookies. A lot of cookies in this order, I usually don't do that. Um, so yeah, that was everything I picked out for snacks. I also get a lot of like flour, grains, rice, apple cider vinegar on Thrive. Check out that stuff because it comes in bigger portions but for a lot cheaper. Um, they also have like beauty items, pet items. Their store literally has everything. So check down below, I will have that 
uh, free month listed for you guys plus the 25% off. I highly recommend that you give them your business. So then also lastly in this video, I just wanted to chat a little bit about my last video. I truly want to let you guys know I am so appreciative and so grateful for all the support and amazing comments of me opening up in my last video, kind of about some struggles I'm going through. If you didn't see it or you're a new subscriber, I've been on a weight loss journey for years now and really just changing my mindset into believing that I truly deserve a healthy life and, you know, feeding my body properly and getting over the negative thoughts and the negative body self image and like body image. Um, and I'm always nervous, no matter how many subscribers I have or how many times I've put up videos like that in the past, I always get a little nervous to be super transparent because it's the internet, people are judgy, but I am just reminded every time that I do how amazing you guys are and how just how safe you make me feel here in our community with YouTube and I truly do feel like I have incredible support so I wanted to thank you guys. I just wanted to clear up a few things. I am not quitting my weight loss journey. I am still at a little bit of a bigger body size than I feel most comfortable in. I'm not trying to be super thin or anything like that um, but I do still want to lean down. That is still a goal of mine. I What I meant by I'm quitting my cut in my last video was that I'm not going to be so so incredibly strict anymore. Um, I'm still leaning down. I'm not going to be intuitive eating. I am still counting macros with Leah. Um, a lot of you were like, or some of you were like, oh, macro tracking is the problem. It Fs with your mind. And I just want to clear that up. No, 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 no. Macro tracking is what saved me, you guys, because I don't do it too, like too harshly to where it like messes with me mentally. Leah coming into my life has been an angel. That is how I got off my first 35 pounds. I used to be 35 pounds heavier than I am now and I was miserable. So tracking macros is how I got all of that off. So I know macro tracking works for me. I'm just not gonna be super, super crazy strict with it to where like I'm obsessive or anything like that. What I meant in that video is that I'm just taking it at a slower approach. Um, but I still am, yes, wanting to lean down and, you know, achieve the desired body that I've been wanting. I will not give up on my goal. My weight loss journey is not over. I actually just filmed yesterday um, a full body and, or mostly like a lower body and booty workout, which you guys will see in the next video. I still have full days of eating coming and workout videos. I'm still on the journey. I was just updating and letting you guys know in that video at that specific time, I was really struggling mentally and I wanted to open up about it, but that doesn't mean I'm quitting. So... I am not quitting. Maybe I will try intuitive eating in the future. Uh, macros for me right now and for the past year has been incredible because it's really helped to teach me portion size and it's it's just what has worked for me. You know, whenever I hit my goal weight where I want to maintain and maybe I can switch to intuitive eating later, I just know right now like that's a process that is working for me. Um, so yeah, you know, we still on those goals. We still want to look good. Not even just looking good. A lot of you were like, oh, stop going after this like crazy thin body image. I don't want that. I want curves. I am born with curves. I have a little bit bigger bone structure. That's fine. Like I'm will totally own that. I just know that I feel sluggish and mentally like slow and lethargic when I eat really bad, you know, like tracking. Tracking my macros and the plan Leah has for me works really well when I do it. The reason I wasn't seeing progress this past few weeks is because I was not following the plan. The plan she gives me works to a T because in January, when I was counting and like doing everything to a T that she had written out for me, I lost over 12 pounds. So obviously it works. It's just, I was admitting that I haven't counted in the past few weeks and I've been eating crap. And like, I was just admitting to you guys that I was failing, but she is amazing. No, she is, she's great. I had to talk with her about how I was like really struggling and she pulled me out of that slump and we had a long talk about how motivation is not always going to be there and that's why you have to stay disciplined and just remember your overall goal remember your why that you deserve to be healthy so yeah i'm still a million percent on it you guys i'm just not being obsessive and i'm just trying to do what fits for me and my lifestyle and christian but you know you know we get in there so yeah what else did i have to tell you guys in this video i feel like this video is already so long i've been recording for 32 minutes <laughs> So let's see how much like random crap of me rambling I end up editing out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It felt really casual. I'm literally sitting on the floor. Um, yeah, be sure you're subscribed here to my channel. Hit the notification bell because YouTube is whack these days. That way you're positive you see my videos. Also, huge, 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 huge announcement. I don't know if it's gonna be Saturday or if it's gonna be Sunday. It'll be on my Instagram story, but and it will be in a vlog because ah, Christian and I are just so excited. So please stay tuned for that. And if you're into the fitness stuff, uh, follow me on Instagram because on my story yesterday I posted my whole workout and what I ate and I'm trying to be more active on there every single day uh, Be sure you guys utilize the coupon code for thrive market down below. I love you Be sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next one Mwah.